Hello guys, it's Fisher Penguins here. And today I'll be doing a review of the Lego Star Wars Vulture Droid. This set is ages 7 to 12. It's set number 75041. Comes with 205 pieces and retails for £20. Like all the other, like, like the vehicles in the Star Wars range, there's four of them. And uh, yeah, this one probably has um, some of the cooler minifigures. Obviously, General Grievous' as well, back is the best. But um, yeah, this one has um, I'll show you the brand new, never before seen, the Emodian Guard. I'll take off his helmet so you can see his face. A bit dark, sorry. But yeah, it's really cool. These are the guys that um, are guarding Newt Gunray on Mr. Far. Sorry, guys, um, you can't really see the detailing, but it's hard to focus on this dark body. There you go, you can kind of see that now. And uh, yeah, this helmet is pretty much the same from like, the castles thing. With that little gap in the top of the feather, but yeah, he's never ever before been made, so um, it's not like a redesign, he's like, never before seen. Now we have um standard pilot droid, now obviously with the little yellow bit on there, on the, or tan bit on the blue. But yeah, there's nothing special about him, he has the, the smaller blaster. And now I don't really count this guy as a minifigure because he's not to scale with the other minifigures. But it's a buzz droid you get, like a little buildable buzz droid. This is probably like two scale. Like, r not real life, but in terms of size with the ultra droid, I don't know. It's probably to scale. It's definitely not minif minifigure scale. So that's why I don't personally count it as a minifigure, but yeah. It's just a cool extra thing to get. Anyway. Now on to the Vulture Droid itself. It's quite cool. It's really tall as you can see. And uh, here, here's mainly stickers on here. Little stickers there for the little eyes. This bit does lift up and there is a cockpit inside there. Which, um, this isn't realistic at all. Put it that way so you can see. But you can put the pilot droid in there. Just take his blaster off. And you can just be placed in there and can be closed. And what you do, you fold the wings in. Flight mode. Ugh. This isn't going too well. There we go. Ugh. You just fold the wings in like this for flight mode, and the other side is kind of when it won't, when it's landing. So when it's like standing up, you want it like that. In flight mode, you want it like close to get like that. As you can see, there are little like non fireable missiles there. Those do contain the buzz droids in episode 3. So yeah, they're quite cool. Here, on the front is just more sticker detailing. And at the back here, you do have two spring loaded missiles. Which of course, do fire. And uh, yeah, just a warning if you're playing, if a little kid is playing with this, be careful because. These new missiles are really powerful and will seriously hurt someone if they hit someone. So yeah, there's not really much to say about the Vulture Droid. Um, quite pretty much what you see is what you get, you know. If I fold the other side into attack mode, like so. It's kind of like now in the time you can go new and tend to shoot somebody down. Yeah. That's where it's the Vulture Droid, now I'm going to go on to the extras. At the same time I've already got to the pages of the building, and there is 51. Of course, you have the screaming kid in the back. I don't know if he's going to be in the new summer set, so I'm getting more size the cantina. Um, just after my birthday, so I'll wait and see if they have changed it. They have changed it in the city, unfortunately. Yeah, that's the front of the manual. Pretty much the same as the box, as always. Spare pieces, you get... Spare spring loaded missile. Two of these black connector pieces. Get a light grey antenna. You get a straight droid arm. And a kind of bent droid arm. Uh, orange stud. Gold stud. And you get one of these light grey technical pieces. So those are the spare pieces. 
quickly get those away. Now into the box. It's pretty much this, exactly the same as the German Greaves' box. Um, for some reason, the, this one and the German Greaves' one are quite thin, and the other, the V wing and the Jedi Interceptor are quite thick. Um, I don't really know why, but they're all like the same width, but they're just a bit chunkier at the sides. Um, here's the front. You see the belt, the buzz droid there, the watch droid firing. Of course, it's 7 to 12. I'm showing you all the new figures down there. As I said, the Nemodian Warrior, brand new, never before made. Uh, of course, the Darth Vader logo on the back. He's just showing the, the, the head moves, spring loaded missiles, the obviously the wings at the side move, little battle scene up there, and a bit of a designer's view there. So yeah, that is the Vulture Droid. Now onto the pros and the cons. So you guys now onto the pros and cons. My first pro is it is to scale. Unlike older versions, I have got the, the pretty much the Vulture Droid from the Ahsoka Starfighter set that rang out ages ago. Um, mainly because Vulture Droids weren't usually on their own, they were usually part of a set like with another Starfighter. They usually were quite small like this one, whereas now it is now pretty much its own individual set. It can now be a real to scale big version of the Vulture Droid. So yeah, I think that's quite cool how it's actually like a larger Vulture Droid and it's just to scale and it just looks more epic. Next up is the mini figs. Obviously this guy pretty much makes the set. I mean you're gonna get the set for this new Nemodian Warrior. The Buzz Droid again is a really cool buildable figure. Always good to have those. And even though the pilot droid isn't really rare. Um, it's not the most common of droids, so it's still nice to get another pilot droid, you know. Pretty cool. My last pros is the price. Um, because it's obviously 205 pieces, 20 pounds, the price is pretty much bang on there. Perfect price. So now to the cons. Um, the wings, as you saw in the review, they're really kind of tough to put into position and fold. Um, I don't know if that's just me, but yeah, I find the wings quite difficult to fold and get into position. But, um, that's pretty much just how it's designed. This one is kind of really nitpicky, but um, the cockpit in here, uh, as you have a cockpit, that is totally unrealistic because the Vulture Droid is its, has its own kind of mainframe, it is it its own droid. It's pretty much the same as this guy, they're both powered by their own individual um, power. I don't need another droid to pilot it, so yeah, it's really kind of picky, but. It's re unrealistic, so um, yeah. Hang on a minute. I have something I forgot to mention in the review actually. I'll do it now. Um, what you can do is the wings, you can fold them like that. And you can kind of fold them around. I didn't realise that. I just saw that, thank God. So um, yeah, you can. If you stand it like that, you want to just stand him up and do that if you want. Yeah, that looks a bit retarded. But. You get what I mean. You know, if, sorry for that, I'm not showing that in the review, but yeah, you've seen it now. Anyway, that has been the review. Please like, subscribe, comment, and uh, goodbye.